What's up, guys? Raul Gore here. Today, I'm going to talk about something near and dear to my heart, and that is simming your character. Um, so it's January, classics wrapping up. Uh, a lot of people are coming back to retail. Um, I think most people sort of have an idea about simming and stat weights and stuff, but maybe aren't totally sure. So hopefully I can clear up some misconceptions with this video, especially regarding stat weights. Um, so anyway, uh, let's jump right into it. Um, the first part of this video is going to be really quick and like uh, pretty brief. And then I'm going to do some advanced concepts with, uh, with simming in the second half of this video. So let's start with uh, what you need here. So first thing you need is the, um, the SimCraft um, add-on here. So you want to go to Wow Up or whatever you use to get your add-ons, download the Simulation Craft add-on. Okay, once you get that loaded up, you'll be able to go in game, type slash sim C there. You guys can't see my text, but slash S-I-M-C, and you'll get a, a dialogue like this. So you copy and paste this. You copy it, and then you go to your browser, not that browser, <laughs> and go to... Uh, raidbots.com raidbots.com right there um we're gonna do a top gear sim okay so i click on top gear paste all of that thing that you got from the add-on into this box okay so you can scroll down here you see all your gear that's in your bags right so so let's sim uh let's see here what i have haste versus mastery okay so mastery is my best stat and verse is my worst we're going to talk about how to get stat weights later um and these are my two middle stats so it's possible that this could be better so we'll sim these two against each other um and let's how about this ring too let's sim all three of these rings it's going to do all combination of all combinations of these three rings right and uh let's look at this uh, uh trinket as well okay Come down here. So for rings, like this one's not enchanted, okay? So I want to make sure that the sim puts an enchant on it. So I have this uh, selected here for the enchant I want. I can sim all of this stuff. I don't want to get too detailed right now. Those just an overview. So I'm going to sim a patchwork style fight, one boss, five minute in length. That's like a, uh, a raid boss that you've... It depends, you know, like Denathrius could be up to a nine minute fight. Some, you know, you have to play around with this sometimes. Five minutes is kind of a good break point, though. Uh, and your Sim C version sh uh, should be nightly. Keep this on Smart Sim. This does a pretty good job. You could change the amount of iterations, but you're going to run out of, uh, you, you have a cap on the amount of combinations and iterations you can do there. So, um, and then you're good to go. All right. Find top gear. And this is going to give you a breakdown. I already have done this. We'll see how fast this goes here. If it goes fast, I'll just let it go. Uh, it's going pretty quick. We'll just wait. Yeah. We'll just wait on it. So when this finishes, it's going to give me a breakdown of uh, of everything that I, uh, of, of all the pieces I selected. So I selected all, these are all the different combinations, Okay. And it's this is my what I currently have equipped, and this ring with the mastery enchant is a 0.2 percent upgrade. That's roughly a, that's like a eight DPS upgrade, which is about 0.2 percent, which is not it's outside the margin of error, right? Margin of error here is about three DPS, 0.05 percent. So this is a clear upgrade uh, in the scenario that I told the sim five minute patchwork uh single target right this would be an upgrade and that's how you sim okay so let's now talk about stat weights and where you can kind of get in trouble a little bit with stat weights okay so so let's go back here type slash sim c get our our thing again our our um the, the string here um, and let's go back to uh, to our browser and uh, go back to raid bots here and do a uh, stat weight sim okay so I'm going to paste 
this in there. And uh, yeah, all of this looks good. One boss, five minutes. Again, you can kind of play around with this stuff. And let's generate stat weights. So let's talk about, I already did this, so I'm just going to cancel this sim. I have my stat weights here. Oh, I don't have my stat weights. Ah, okay. Let's do stat weights real quick. Generate stat weights. Um, so where I see people get in trouble sometimes with stat weights are good to give you an idea of, okay, mastery and crit or mastery and haste. Those are my two best stats. So I should target those. But where you can get in trouble is before you have all your BIS pieces and while you're kind of in the upgrading and gearing process, you can sometimes, uh, it, it, it can be, we're going to go through it right here. It can not always be right. So mash, so weapon DPS, obviously my highest strength and mastery and haste are my two highest secondaries. So what does all of this mean right here? What, how do I interpret this data? Uh, let me bring this up. These are my stat weights here, okay? One, let, let's look at the asterisk here. One point of weapon DPS will increase my DPS by 15.11, okay? That means one point of weapon DPS, that's how much my DPS goes up, 15 DPS. Strength, one point of strength will, will make my DPS go up three DPS. Okay. So versatility here, this is my worst stat. So I think where people get in trouble with this is they say, oh, this gear has verse on it. It's no good. Or, you know, this ring has verse on it. It's no good because that's my worst stat. Well, it depends, right? So let me, let me explain what I mean here. Versatility. Let's say I have a piece of gear and it has uh, it has two points of mastery. Okay, that is a DPS increase of three, right? Two mastery points, 1.5 times two is three, okay? So three points of versatility will cause my DPS to go up uh, 3.75, right? Is that right? 3.75, yeah. So three of my worst stat is better than two of my best secondary, okay? So, and that's why I use the Top Gear Sim, right? Because it'll do all this for you. The other thing um, that I see people uh, get confused a little bit with stat weights is like pawn strings. So after I do this sim, I can, there's an add-on called pawn. I can import this into pawn, and it will tell me if a piece is an upgrade or not based on my stat weights. So here's another thing about stat weights. Every time you change out a piece of gear, you gain and lose stats, and your stat weights will change. Okay? So... What pawn does and what stat weights kind of do is it it's like a snapshot. It tells you how your DPS will be affected when you increase a stat. But it's very rare that you can just increase a stat, right? If I have two rings and one is verse mastery and the other is crit haste or crit mastery, if I flip them, the mastery is not changed that much, but I'm going to lose crit or lose verse, right? And even though verse is my worst secondary stat, points of versatility increase my DPS, right? One point of versatility will increase my DPS by 1.25. All of your stats will increase your DPS. So what stat weights don't look at is when you put a piece of gear, when you change two pieces of gear, you gain some stats and you lose others, right? Okay, so what a top gear sim will do is it will, uh, it will calculate all of that. 
Um, it, it accounts for all of that. Stat weights do not account for the losses of stat. They It only accounts for when you gain stat, right? So we say that it's static, and we say that something like a Top Gear Sim is dynamic. It it changes. like it, roll, it can roll with the punches. You gain stats here, you lose stats here. Stat weights can't do that. So stat weights are really good for letting you know what you should target. Right. For me, it's going to be mastery haste. I would love to have mastery haste on all of my pieces of gear, but uh, when I'm gearing up, um, I'm gonna, uh, I, I'm not, I may not have mastery and haste on every piece of gear, or I may get a higher eye level that has so much of stats that aren't good for me, but but it has so much of them that it might replace one of my lower eye level pieces that do have my best stats. So you have to sim. Right, you have to you have to sim. Um, so let's go back and talk about simming here a little more advanced. Okay, let me uh, let me get my sim C string again here. Um, okay, let's go back to raid bots. Let's look at Top Gear. Let's play with this a little bit. Let's sim these rings again and these trinkets. Trinkets. Trinkets, ring. Okay. Let's say that I'm on a I want a sim for like a dungeon boss or something. I'm gonna change this to two minutes. And let's say I want to see how it's affected without lust and without full raid buffs. Okay. So this is a slightly more advanced. I'm gonna go to uh, uh, show more options here. And I'm going to deselect Bloodlust. Let's say we don't have a uh, Monk with us. We don't have a Demon Hunter with us. Arcane Intellect's not going to affect my class and spec. Let's actually turn all of these off. No Battle Shout, none of this. Right? Um, now, Unholy DK has a spell that probably most of you are familiar with called Army of the Dead. And it's a massive burst of damage. But generally, you only use that with Lust because uh, it's on an eight-minute cooldown. So let's talk about custom scripts here. I can uh, go here and put in skip underscore actions equals, and then you put in whatever you want to skip. Right, so let me copy this, paste it in. So right here, skip underscore actions equals, I want to skip Army of the Dead. These are not spaces. It's hard to see because Chrome's telling me I'm misspelling things, but there's underscore between all these spaces there. So what's that? that's going to do is it's not going to use Army, right? Because some bosses, you may not ha have Army. I mean, the way Unholy DK plays now, a lot of times you do, but just for the sake of this um, sim and this video, I'm going to take that away. I can hit find top gear. And, uh, I mean, there's all kind of stuff you can do with simming. The other thing, this is kind of switching gears here, because I just did sort of a, like a two-minute fight on, like, a tyrannical boss or something. Um, but let's just switch gears here and pretend this was for, like, a, um, like a raid boss or something. So, um, this trinket, where is it? This sheet music trinket sims really high. It's simming pretty high, Okay. And in dungeons, uh, yeah, in dungeons, I think it's cool to use. Like, it's no big deal. But if you look at the logs for raid, the way this trinket works is it spawns these things that you have to go run in to get the buff. And in raid, there's too many people and there's too many effects. You can't see them. So it's almost impossible to utilize it to its full potential. So let's suppose that this thing had simmed highest. It's always a good idea to check logs, right? Like, if I go and check logs here, uh, I can see that out of the top 100 uh, parses on Mythic, on Artificer, only one person used that trinket, right? Whereas 20% and 17% used these two. So it's it's always good to go to like Raider IO or Warcraft Logs and sort of bounce this stuff kind of off of what people are doing just to have an idea, right? Um, because Sims are not perfect. Um... But, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Um, 
yeah, you know, and I'm stat weights too. Stat weights are useful to know, but sometimes when you just look at stats and you make a decision, it can be, uh, you know, that was the main thing I wanted to get at too. Like it's not, it's usually right. I would say seven times out of 10, but, um, it just depends on eye level. It depends on how much of main stat you're getting. Uh, of course, if it's a weapon, it's going to be eye level over everything because of the weight, because of how, uh, because of how much weight the um, weapon damage is, right? Like if you look at weapon damage here, it's 15 times stronger almost than verse, right? So one point of weapon damage is massive, no matter what stats you have on that thing. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, have a good day.